What is it's that? It's what we just had. It's what we just ate. Oh. oh okay. That's okay. Okay. Wait. Stop. Pause. What do you want us to say about ourselves? <laughs> Lovey here and I have some beautiful guests with me today and they will introduce yourself so um you guys already know me Lavi. I'm from Yorkshire Leeds and I've been mm. working in China for nearly two years now as an English teacher and then we have the beautiful hi my name is Spencer um, I'm from Pennsylvania in the United States in the northeast corner um, I've been here in Beijing for six months teaching English Hi everyone, my name is Cassie. Um, I'm from northeast of China. I've been in China for forever and I'm a mindfulness and wellness coach and teacher. Nice to meet you all. Today's video is going to be on a language exchange. So what we would say in the UK, what we would say in China and what we would say in the USA. So we're going to start off with the first one is brainers. That's not right. <laughs> That's wrong. It's sneakers. Sneakers. And we heard that one. Which one would you prefer? Trainers or sneakers? I prefer yun dong xie. Yun dong xie. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> so like trainers are much more easier to roll off the tongue at. Yeah, but yes, sneakers indeed. just sound so cool, like you're on a, like a spy mission or something. <laughs> not on a spy mission. <laughs> just like going to the gym. It's not like that. Trainer sneakers, trainer sneakers, trainer sneakers, trainer sneakers. <laughs> I'm both. I'm fine with both of them. Yeah. And Chinese way, yun dong xie. That's such a long. <laughs> yeah, that is. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's the uh, the least convenient option. <laughs> like a sports shoes. No, but then it's like, oh, I need to put my younger shoes. Yes. Yun dong xie. Nailed it. Oh my god, Chinese is so difficult. We <laughs> <laughs> have yun dong xie, sneakers and trainers. Interesting. Okay, so we ready to get to the next one? Ready, ready, ding, ready. Ding, ding, ding. I'm gonna win. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so in the UK, I would call this a jumper. So what we're wearing now. No, no, jumper. A, a jumper is someone who jumps. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's a person, someone who jumps, and she's trying yeah. to remember what it is in Chinese. <laughs> oh boy. All right, you got it. You know what it is in Chinese. Two hours later. <laughs> Let me hang on, I'll get plugged up. Let me get plugged up. We're fine. We're so but, I mean, In here, in this dictionary, would it be called a sweater or a jumper? Mine said sweater because that is the correct word for it. Well, why is it called sweater? Is it because you can sweat in it? I think so. You just hang out. What do you call a jumper? You can jump in it? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, touche. That's a cookie. <laughs> That's a cookie. What is it? Biscuit. What it's is not it? A biscuit. It's bean gun. What? <laughs> bean gun. <laughs> biscuit. Cookie. Or cookie. So we have the next one. What is that? What is it's that? It's what we just had. It's what we just ate. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> It's carry yeah. out if you go to the restaurant and you get it yourself. You're like, I'm here to pick up my General So's chicken. Mm -hmm. That's what I get carried out of most often okay. um, back in the U.S. And so you carry it out of the restaurant. Mm -hmm. But if it comes to my house, it's just delivery. Uh, okay. 
What is that? Oh, uh, da da bao. Da bao, yeah. Da bao. Da bao is take away and carry out. Why my it's liver delivery. See, so two different phrases. <laughs> Damn it, man. And so the next one is Ooh. we call these chips. These are fries. These fries are shu tiao. Shu tiao. Shu But <laughs> chips <laughs> is crisp. Right. Yeah. Then we get into the whole chips versus crisps debate. Because it's a whole different word. Yeah. Mm. Which leads well, back crispy. to it's right. crispy to potatoes, but it's crisp. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like there's two parts of me sitting next to me. I was like, yes. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's shu <laughs> tiao. So what would you call crisp? Shu <laughs> pian. Shu pian. It's different shape. Wow, well, kind of. Yeah, well, it's different. It's pian. It's not tiao. Shu pian. Shu tiao. Okay. Crisp chips. Okay, so the next right. one we have is um, <laughs> buildings. Buildings, yeah, but like block of flats. Oh, apartments. Apartments. Okay. No, not flats. Block of flats. Apartments. Mm. Flats. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, is there a word in Chinese for that? Xiao chu. Xiao chu. Xiao chu. Yeah, it's like Xiao a compound, chi. right? Ah, okay. Yeah, it's like this. Neighborhoods, compounds, yeah. Yeah. People yeah. live in. Xiao Chu. Little district. Apartment also means gong yu in Chinese. Oh. So it depends what kind of apartment or neighborhoods or we are living in, basically. Sometimes we call it Xiao Chu. Sometimes we call it gong yu. But gong yu can also mean one apartment, but also can be few, a few houses, a few apartments. So it's gong yu like more fancy. Well, oh, oh yeah, more, you, yes, yeah. yeah, more more fancy than Xiao Chu. Mm. I have some of those like across the road from me. Like I live in a Xiao Chu, and then, <laughs> the people across the road live in like a real fancy, like yeah, um, you. <laughs> you. exactly. Yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah, although right. I will say, I will say, this is like the one time that I like. I agree with you guys. I think flat sounds way cooler than apartment. Yeah. It's totally mm -hmm. a better word. <laughs> so, I'll give you that one, guys. <laughs> Ooh. So, in the UK, we would call this the underground. Mm. Because it's underground. Mm. No. Yeah. We call it, like, the metro. Usually the metro. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's the most... Or the subway. Yeah. Metro or subway. Yeah. yeah. We call it in Chinese di tie. Di tie. Di is ground. I know that one. Ah. I know. We, we use it all the time. Mm. Di tie. Di tie. This one. So I would call this a car. Mm -hmm. It's pretty simple. I would also call that a car. But I would call that specific car like a bug. Like a Volkswagen bug. Oh, yeah. A <laughs> beetle. Yeah, a beetle bug. Mm. But yeah, okay. no, that's a car. In Chinese, it's chu. Chu. Oh, really? If it's a beetle, nice. and some then some good, some good like, harmony there. Yeah. Beetle <laughs> beetles break. is jia ke chong. Jia ke chong. It's like a beetle. Uh, <laughs> jia ke oh, we will we'll stick Yeah, we're gonna stick chua. with chu. <laughs> One, two, three. Chua. Chua. Yay! So for like, if it was a taxi. Chu zu chu. Chu zu chu. My favorite words in Chinese is the word for like the public buses. Gong 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 si chu. I'm like, I just I can't believe that that's a real word. <laughs> Tree. Or are we talking about the season? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would say fall. Autumn. Autumn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm losing officially. No, I'm staying with Chu Tian. Chu Chu Tian. Chu 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 Tian. 
sounds beautiful. It sounds like a music. It will never sound like that again coming from my mouth. Let's spun by one. Oh, okay. Let's get a spun by one. Chu Tian. Chu Tian. Chu Tian. restroom I believe yeah I think so <laughs> yes yes we would yes, say. yes yes don't leave me here wait a minute damn it man. she said restroom <laughs> I need to feel like I'm winning you're already winning I call my own a, my like I call the one in my house a bathroom but I call mm. like the one in a restaurant restroom uh, a restroom why do I do that I don't know mm -hmm. yeah, things to think, <laughs> right, things to think about Doesn't now see? except yeah, I'm in the well, restroom we would say toilet or in the north we would say I'm going to live. Oh yeah, live. Okay. That is yeah. a that's a pretty good word for a bathroom. Yeah. Or yeah. you can have a derogatory like going to bog. Oh mm. yeah. And that's like yeah. <laughs> only for the special people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you're a real classy gent. <laughs> yeah. We call it different names in Chinese. The one is Oh. It's directly translation is is toilet. We also call it Xi Shou Jian, which can translate it to bathroom or restroom. I use the Tu Suo. Tu Suo. Yeah. Because yeah. I can't remember. Now the that's one. one. Now that's probably the most phrase I often use, like Zainar with like I mean like where is the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> So it's formal or informal. Yeah, you formally oh, say to your friends, okay. you can just say, yeah, I'm going to a toilet. Going to so I'm going to drop a number two and a one. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's get into the next Just add the nan. No. Nu. What's the Yay. disabled toilet called? Huh? The disabled toilet. Oh. Okay, nope, that's officially out of my league. <laughs> nope. Yeah, that's, no. that's, 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 <laughs> that sounds like, oh, even for me. Tanjiren. <laughs> I'll call it, call it, what the show So show show cell phone. Why is cell phone? It sounds like jail phone sometimes. Cellular device, I think. Mobile phone. Mm, why mobile Because it's phone? mobile. Because back mm. home you have the house phone that is connected to a cord. Okay. Yeah. And then we call it a landline. Because the, the line is in the land. Huh. Yeah. And okay. so yeah. this one I would call a watch. Like. Yep. A watch. I would also call that a watch. I'm not wearing one. Okay. I'm gonna call it. Show Biao. Show Biao. Yes. Show, yeah. show, you know, the hand. Like hand, like yeah. Shoji, yeah. like cell phone. Yeah, Shoji is in your hand as well. Show mm -hmm. is on your hand. You wear it in your hand, right? So, show biao. Show biao. So, some people call that a wrist watch. Yeah, show biao. Wrist no. watch. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, call this WeChat. It's an app. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's not, the, that's not the Chinese know. word for it. Yeah. I, I can say the Chinese it's word for it. <laughs> no, oh, I'm dear. like, what else although, do you call? Although that's something weird here. So, like, we say app 
in like yeah. China, people will say APP. Yes. That's what Which I, I was know. like, I was like, what? You, a what? We do call that APP. APP. Yeah. Why? Because I was like, <laughs> it's I was APP. Like, oh, it's just app, short for application. So what would you call WeChat? Weixin. Weixin. <laughs> yes. So you will hear that a lot in, in China. China. So <gasps> oh. we would call this Alipay. What do you call it? American? Al Alipay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is it called Alipay anyway? Because it's, uh, it's Alibaba. Alibaba, right? Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. In Chinese, it's called Zhifu Bao. Wow, that's like, nothing like WeChat, Weixin. Like, Weixin. So it's Zhi, the characters are there in the picture. It's Zhi. Oh. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I've never even thought about that logo before. No. You know, Zhifu means pay, actually. Yeah. And Bao, it means something like can be baby, can be treasure. Ah, like oh, my cash baby. Something in, important to yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Personal. So, Zhifu mm. Bao. So, the next <laughs> one is football. We call this football. No, that's an entirely different sport. This is soccer. <laughs> What do you mean? This is one thing. Why, America? Why do you have to have your own word for a sport that literally the rest of the world calls another name? Why would you do that? Why? It's just America being like, wait, well, yeah, we have a better word in mind. Now I feel like way. you are complicated with yourself. Okay, this is one of the things I genuinely disagree with the U.S. This is I will not defend this. It's stupid. It should not be called soccer. It should be called football, like the rest of the world. Okay, in Chinese, it calls zu qiu. It's a ball. It's a qiu. Zu. It's your foot. Yeah, your feet. Yeah. You use your foot to to zu kick it. Zu qiu. Mm -hmm. right. Which see matches up with football. Yeah. Where did soccer come from? Exactly. Zu qiu football. Zu qiu. Maybe he got. <laughs> Socked in the face with a <laughs> ball, and he's like, I was just gonna call this soccer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it breakfast? <laughs> but, yes. but, yeah. you know, it's it snacks. Yeah. Or have it with tea, have it with oh, breakfast. Thanks for dessert. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes, yes, it is. Okay. No. So in the in the UK we call this a scone, or uh, in other parts you say scone, scone, oh. scone. Oh. There's a debate with that one because you know north and south we say it differently in the UK. Scone, scone. So you have that with like afternoon tea, mm -hmm. like originally from way back in the day. Scone. Uh, <laughs> I was just gonna say, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was, like, I was like, that was the most Chinese pronunciation of skull that I've ever heard. <laughs> that is. That's because it's a Chinese word. Yeah. Oh. We well, don't really use this, but if you just in general call uh, sweets or dessert, yeah, it's tian pin. It can be just called generalizing it tian pin. Ah. Yeah. If you call that that specifically, mm. si kong. Well, that is like serving cream and jam, um, so and also you can serve it with just butter. Mm, but that's the best way. And you would call that a, a scone because we put that long O on it. Scone. scone. What else would you call that? Because there was another debate that we had with the British slash Americans well, with this particular. I think scones are often like very close to like biscuits, mm, if that's what right. we're talking about. And like the mm. shape that those ones are in especially is like very like biscuit-like. Usually when I see a scone, it's like like a triangle, like someone's made bigger ones and then cut them. Yeah, that's uh -huh. in Starbucks. So Starbucks do serve like a scone, but it's in the shape of a triangle and it's Mostly in Beijing here. Okay. Because I've never mm, seen those. The maybe it is in the UK in a Starbucks, but I've yeah. never seen those in a Starbucks in the UK. I can't remember, honestly. But being here when I first arrived and saw that, 
a triangle scone and it said scone in the description yeah. thing and I'm like, that's not a scone. Scone yeah. is around. See, this no, that's that's even how I've seen them made in the mm. States. Really? Yeah, in trying, I don't know mm. why, but like you shape the dough, because I've made them before, like you shape the dough into a triangle. Uh, why? Like I don't know. It's a situation. I feel, I don't know. I'm embarrassed I'm again. Be different. <laughs> but I think that, I think the like dividing line between like scones and biscuits is like biscuits are like very, very buttery and very flaky, whereas scones are like much more solid. And then also like scones usually have like fruit or something in them, whereas you wouldn't put that in a biscuit. Not mm. particularly. You can have cheese scone, plain and we, scone, and we have biscuit scones. And the scones, uh, they're like fluffy inside, like a mini, uh, uh, yes. yeah, like a mini cake. So on the outside, they're kind of hard because it it's glossed with like egg or milk and then baked. So you have mm. a nice brown golden outside crispiness and then inside it's well, maybe they are closer to biscuits and the scones that we eat in the states are just a completely different thing <laughs> Do you do you do it's been much. lovely having my guest here to go through language exchange with you guys so i hope you enjoyed our session and hold hands together and pause take a breath in and say Bye. 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 Bye.